Hi, we're back. Now we're going to look at making real threads on this uh, this machine screw. So what we do here, I'm on the uh, XY plane. So what we do for that, we'll just go, let's go right down here and let's create some uh, a profile. So I'm going to go align here. Um, I don't know what these dimensions are. I'm just making them up. So I'm going to go 0 0.21 here. I'm going to go here. I want to go right here. So then we've got to constrain this. So we want to make, um, I'm going to get this distance and this distance. We're going to make this, uh, or this. See if I can do this. Get back and do it. That's pretty big. Okay. And then right here, we want to go and we want to uh, get this angle here. Let's make this, uh, I think these are probably about 60 degrees. I'm just guessing here. So let's go 60. And now uh, right here, um, let's go and make sure we got these equal. Okay, so that's all good. And that's good. So now we want to get this guy over here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to draw a construction line to make sure everything is kosher. So I'm going to go to construction line here. I'm going to center point there. See, that's not right. So let's fix this stuff here. So this should be... Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. Should have did this first. So... Or just do this perpendicular. Now, okay, so that's all good. So now what I want to do, I want to do the same thing here. I just want to do a construction line. I'm wasting time, guys. Sorry. Let me just go from here to there. And I want to make this equal this and this. One second here. Oh, wrong way. I forgot. Got a better way. I'll just move it. Just undo that back. Sorry about this, folks. Undo this back. I'm going to just take this guy here. I'm going to move it over here. Let's just move this down here. Okay, now, so I want to do my, my uh, construction line from this point to just here. Then I'm going to make this equal. Okay, now, let's make a distance between here and here. Make sure it's all constrained and everything's together. Say, say let's make this point, point oh one two five. Great, it moves. So everything's working there. So the next thing we want to do here, we want to finish this sketch. And they want to go and select coil. So from here, we want to make sure we've got cut on here. We got coil size here. I think I'm going to go with. Okay, cancel that. First thing we always have to do is select the axis. So we're on the y axis. I always forget that. 
and then we'll select coil. Here it's asking for access, so I want to hit it now. Okay, so there's our fake beginning. So then here we want to go. I'm gonna go pitch and height here, and then uh, let's see, coil here, pitch and height. I want to go to revolution here, and let's say 20. And this height, I don't want it to be that high. I want it to be right about there. And I'm going to say OK. OK, I want to back that out. Did something wrong here. You have to play around with this. So cancel. Hopefully I can get through this one time. We're done here. OK. I'm going to go coil. And then it's asking me to select my axis here. And now I've got cut here. And here I'm in 20 you say okay and there you go so that's how you add threads to this thing real threads but you need the right geometry and information so from there I'm gonna go here I'm gonna change my material to my extrusion it's gonna be that is galvanized that's galvanized that's Gal and I. So hey guys, there you go. So that's how you would do um, real trades against uh, the other things they have. So hey guys, thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next video. And everybody be safe and take care. Cheers. Bye. Please subscribe.